Exotrope Online. A wonderful Wednesday afternoon from the verdant valley of Cagayan here in the Philippines. It's Research Matters at Exotrope Online. This afternoon, we'll talk about how to generate ideas for your thesis or dissertation. I'll share five tips on how to generate great ideas for your thesis or dissertation. First is to read journal articles. Second is to watch informative videos. Third is to confer with your colleagues. Fourth is to attend academic gatherings. And fifth is to seek guidance from esteemed researchers. First is to read journal articles. Always peruse journal articles first before doing anything. Make sure that you choose reputable refereed journals. Because when you read journal articles, you'll be informed. You will have vast knowledge about the different subfields of your particular discipline. And just a caveat, please choose those reputable referee journals. When I say reputable, that means that these journals are not overnight publishers because there are journals out there that collect exorbitant fees for the publication of your research articles in a matter of two weeks or worse, in a matter of two days. Dear friends, what's the big deal with journals that publish articles in a matter of two weeks or two days? Well, it's this. Journals that publish in a matter of two weeks don't actually submit your articles or the articles to reputable referees. In my experience, reputable journals usually give at least one month to all the referees. So sometimes one of the referees would not even finish refereeing the paper in a month. So it's preposterous to publish a journal article in a matter of two weeks. These referees are busy people. So, definitely, they cannot referee the articles in a matter of a week because, of course, the publication process takes at least a month. In my experience, as a publication manager of journals, it takes time to publish quality and scholarly journals. You give the referees at least three months before they return the journal articles with their critics, with their suggestions and comments. So, definitely, the writers, the researchers, are also given time to revise their submissions. So, it's definitely impossible to approve the publication of research articles in a matter of two weeks. So, the publication of journals usually take at least three months. So, I suggest some journals that you can consider when you read for your dissertation or thesis. First is Teaching English with Technology. When I published in that journal, I waited for six months before my paper was published. The second is Teaching English for Specific and Academic Purposes. In that journal, I did not pay any publication fees. But, of course, for reputable journals, usually you wait 
longer. In my case, I waited for a year just for the journal article to be published. And so in that way, it follows that the journal articles that you read are well refereed. What's the big deal with refereed articles? Refereed articles are those that were approved by research experts for publication because usually there are at least three referees who read the articles. Those referees read the articles and decide whether those articles are publishable or not. How do you read the journal articles? That's the next query. Well, it's simple. Read the introduction first. Is the research problem significant? Is it novel? Second, read the methodology. Is the research process sound? How about the sampling of respondents or the corpus of the study? Third, read the results and discussion. Are those supported by studies conducted earlier? Or are those particular findings supported or contradicted by prior studies? And then, of course, you have to consider the conclusion and recommendations. The next tip is to watch informative videos. Why do you need to watch informative videos? Videos about research, about anything on a specific discipline would help you widen your horizon. You would have a better appreciation of the different themes, the different topics about your field of expertise. So it's nice to watch videos so that you would know the trend, the buzzwords in your particular field of study. In that way, you would find out your particular research interest. Essentially, watching videos would widen your horizon as a novice researcher. The third tip is to confer with colleagues. Your colleagues, especially the seasoned educators and researchers, those who have published researches in reputable refereed journals, are basically knowledgeable in terms of research topics and themes. So, they can suggest particular themes or topics that are significant and novel. Another tip to generate ideas for your thesis and dissertation is to attend academic gatherings. Well, it might be expensive. I tell you, it is. However, it's a good investment for your professional development. I did that when I was in Oman. I attended international conferences in Dubai, in Muscat, and other parts of the Middle East. To tell you frankly, I spent much, but I learned much. I have met great people in terms of research, in terms of education in general, and I learned much from them, as some of them learned much from me, as I was also a presenter in those conferences. Even if you may say, I'm not a presenter yet, well, is it okay if I attend as a participant only? Well, yes you would still learn from them. Actually, you would learn much from them. 
because these researchers who present in international conferences are seasoned researchers, published researchers. So they have the reputation in terms of doing valuable research. The last tip in generating ideas for your thesis or dissertation is to seek guidance from esteemed researchers. It may be related to conferring with your colleagues or the third tip, but for the last one, it's more for assistance later on. You have to choose the best advisor in your university, in your higher education institution. Why? Because your advisor will guide you, will follow through your particular research journey. Your research journey, my friend, should be an enjoyable one. Make sure that it's not too tedious. Make sure that it's not traumatic. That when you do it again, when you do research again, you would definitely find delight in doing it. You should enjoy the process. Should not be after the product only or your research output only. Mind you, research is a matter of patience and diligence. You need to be patient in reading materials, related literature. You need to be patient in conferring with experts. So, always remember, when you do generate research ideas, you do have to make sure that you enjoy the process as well. And the last one, seeking guidance from esteemed researchers. You do need to be humble enough in eliciting ideas from your research advisor. At Exeltro Educational and Research Consultancy, we can lend you a hand. We can make your research journey an enjoyable one. We can make your research journey fascinating. So please don't hesitate to contact us. Send an email to jddiag30 at gmail.com. Let's recapitulate. What are the ways on how to generate ideas for your thesis or dissertation? Always consider reading journal articles, watching informative videos, conferring with your colleagues, attending academic gatherings, and seeking guidance from esteemed researchers. That's all for now. Thank you very much, dear Exceltro viewers. If you learned from this video, please like, share, and subscribe. And please don't forget to hit the notification bell so that you'll be updated of our latest video uploads. Please remember, let's always be a blessing to others. Thank you.